So uh, if you're wondering why I'm so free, it's because I'm done with my internship. Yeah. <laughs> If, you, if you're new here, I'm Harish Atai Kumar, I'm a student at Bitspilani and I just finished my PS1 which stands for Practice School 1. Uh, so it was an IT internship so I had to work with a few cloud platforms. I got my first internship in my first year, I've shared it, I did an internship in my first year summer vacation. This is my second internship, uh, it's com it was compulsory it, uh, by Bits, like it's given by Bits based on your CGPA. So I just want to tell you guys how this internship looks like so that you guys get a brief overview about what are the tools that we are using, how do we communicate and how, how was the entire internship process, right? So that uh, when you guys are applying for internship or if you're just curious about how Bits Pilani internships look like remotely, then this is how it, it is. I'm just sharing my experience. So uh, if there's, I'm also, I'll be also telling you names of your tools that we used and these are like very powerful, very cool tools. So if you want to explore these tools, if you want to learn that skill, then yeah, keep uh, watching. All right, so the company that I got is called Pass Consulting. It's a German consulting firm. Uh, and my job was basically to take a local database, right? So they had a CSV file. I had to convert that into a database. If you guys don't know where database is, it's a way of storing data. Uh, it, it just makes things faster. So instead of storing things on a simple Excel sheet, you usually store it on SQL or a non-SQL database. So my job was to uh, you know, take that CSV file, convert it into a non-SQL database, and then migrate that non-SQL database onto a cloud platform. It's called uh, Microsoft Azure. Uh, Azure has a service called Cosmos DB. I had to transform, I had to migrate the local database into Cosmos DB so that uh, it becomes a cloud-based database. Now, the advantage of cloud is that anyone can access it. And then we had to do some analytics using a tool called Microsoft Power BI. Uh, so Microsoft Power BI helps you do analytics on data. So if you have, say, like it just helps you make fancy graphs in a simple way. Uh, so if you want to represent an Excel sheet or if you want to represent a database in, in like pie charts or bar graphs or timeline charts, then you can use a tool. It's very straightforward. It's, 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 a, it's a tool highly in demand. Like even my dad's company uses uh, Power BI a lot. So you guys can learn Microsoft Power BI. It's a very good analytics tool. It gives you great visualization. So if you're looking to learn, and it's, and it's free to download, that's a good part. If you're looking to do data, data analysis or visualization, data visualization, then you can give that a shot. It's called Microsoft Power BI. Now let me talk about few key takeaways from the internship. A, it was a remote internship, right? So I learned how to communicate with the team remotely. Uh, because until last year, it used to be a physical internship. So I Hyderabad Hyderabad, but it did not happen because of COVID. Uh, and now let's see how you can communicate with your team remotely. So if you're working on projects or if you are a freelancer who wants to talk to your clients, then these are a few things, these are a few tools that you can use. A, it's obviously Google Meet. Google Meet is a free to use tool given by Google. So it's very easy to use. Just go to Google Meet. Uh, I mean, just Google it up and you'll get Google Meet. Uh, create a link, share it with your client, or you can even go to Google Calendar and create an invite. So your client will get a link and you will get a link. Mil jayega, then you can talk, talk with your client uh, there and there itself. Then there's Zoom. Zoom is also a great platform, but the only uh, caveat is that if you 40 minutes, if you talk more than 40 minutes, se baat kar li, to cut ho jayega call. Uh, that's the only caveat uh, with Zoom. So most popular platforms are Google Meet and Zoom. This was a great key takeaway. Uh, use these communication platforms extensively. Uh, these are great or uh, I think the future of work is going to be remote. So learn to use these platforms pretty well. Google Calendar especially. If you invite banana invite, then you can easily talk with your clients and set up meetings. It's way more professional. Second is the impact of cloud computing. Now a lot of these cloud uh, platforms like Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, uh, Amazon AWS, learn to use the services that they, that they provide. Like there's a service by Amazon AWS called Amazon SNS, wherein you can send emails and notifications and SMSs to other people at very cheap costs. So if you're building an application or uh, if you want to send OTP uh, SMS ke through, 
तो you can use that service. Or if you want to send an email, uh, every time someone signs up for your service, you can use Amazon SNS. So learn to use these cloud services. It's very useful. Uh, and like whenever you're building applications, you will be definitely using one of these. So uh, if you're freelancing, especially in the backend space, if you're a backend engineer, then you'll have to learn to you know uh, work with these cloud platforms. It's pretty cool. I I thoroughly enjoyed using these cloud platforms. It was pretty fun. I was very new to uh, Microsoft Azure, and the features that it has is crazy, guys. Like you can do a lot of deep learning and machine learning stuff by just with just few clicks of a button, and uh, that's a great part about it. Third uh, key takeaway was to use databases. So I learned how to use MongoDB. Uh, so MongoDB has uh, like there's something called MongoDB Compass. Which helps you visualize the database on your local device, and then there's something called MongoDB Atlas. So MongoDB Atlas is a cloud platform. So if you want to use cloud, then you can use MongoDB Atlas. So these are few tools that I learned, and then there's also a local uh, database tool called Robo 3T. So it's similar to MongoDB Compass. You can give that a shot as well. Knowing Node.js or Python really helps you uh, when you're playing with databases, right? So uh, if you want to do something in the back end, then please learn either Python or uh, Node.js. It will help you a lot. I knew a bit of Node.js. I don't know much of Python. So uh, whenever I read documentation, it helped me a lot. So uh, you know, learn one of these languages. It really helps you. Because uh, if you guys don't know what documentation is, whenever you use a software, whenever you use a library, or whenever you use a tool, documentation mein bataya rehta hai ki kaise use karte hai us particular tool ko right so if i want to do data analysis and if there's a package for that to uska documentation mujhe batayega ki us package ko use kaise karte hai apne code mein and if i know the language only then i'll be able to read the documentation right so wo code tabhi samajh mein aayega mujhe so please learn node it's an amazing amazing uh, runtime environment just learn the syntax and yeah then you can pretty much understand most documentations out there also subscribe to my weekly newsletter wherein i share my freelancing experience not my freelancing experience but general freelancing tips from a lot of people and uh, it has uh, you know i'll be sharing how you can get few skills and from where you can learn skills like web development or photoshop so subscribe to my weekly newsletter link in the description box down below